The Rice Watch Group Bantay Bigas believes that planting hybrid rice is more expensive than producing the traditional rice variety. This is the group's position after President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. has agreed to adopt hybrid rice as a better alternative to the inbred variety for increased crop production. According to Cathy Estavillo, spokesperson of Bantay Bigas, hybrid rice seed is still a bit costlier than inbred seed. Mas mataas ang cost of production niya dahil doon sa special, ano niya, special quality niya na klase ng pagtatanim. Kailangan talaga ng uh, abono at pesticidyo. Kailangan yung abono niya ay aabot ng pitong bags. Magkano ang abono ngayon? 3,500 hanggang 3,200. Estavillo emphasized that the government should provide direct subsidies to rice farmers to help them cope with the production cost of hybrid rice. Ang usapin dito, yung kailangan talaga kasabay ng pagtatanim ng hybrid ay subsidy mula sa gobyerno. And at the same time, ma-ensure na kapag nagtanim sila ay nakapag-ani sila ay mabili ng makakarong ang presyo yung kanilang produkto gaya ng panawagan ng ating mga magustagan at dapat hindi bababa sa 20 pesos per kilo ang presyo ng kanilang panay. During the meeting of President Marcos Jr. with SL Agritech Corporation and Central Luzon Farmers in Malacanang yesterday, PBBM said he will implement a program to promote the shift to hybrid rice by providing subsidies and facilitating loan financing to farmers. The palace noted the joint study of the Department of Agriculture and local government units that the hybrid system has given 41% better yield than inbred conventional seeds. In addition, hybrid farmers have reported harvesting around 7 to 15 metric tons per hectare as compared to the average 3.6 MT per hectare for inbred seeds. Nel Maribuho, UNTV News and Rescue, we serve the people, we give glory to God.